Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are starting your week right with a whole host of amazing superstars on Afternoon Express. Now, Nathaniel Nat Ramabulana's ability to master foreign accents has earned him a number of unique roles nationally and internationally. The highlights of which include sharing a scene with the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio in Blood Diamond, and Ryan Philippe in Bang Bang Club. One of his latest roles, though, is the role of the villainous tender in popular soapy Muvango. Let's have a little look at one of his scenes. Hey, hey. Do you want to on him, Rod? Hey. Oh. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ah. Coffee. I know my brother, I decided to follow us over the number of us when he was right there. Yeah, no, they do what I am at the one of the way. No one in a stress that you run in command. So, and only, don't you want a reason? Eh? Yeah. Hey! Ah, and it's benefited the Zoba Mayor, and then there's a confounder which went on a chimney with a bonnet. Yeah. No, yeah, no one do not know. I mean, the the queen, the any Yeah, hey, 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 Welcome to the show. Thank you. Finally, we have you here. You've yeah. got such a busy schedule. You are a busy, very busy actor. Yes. Um, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. You had such an interesting childhood. Mm. I, I remember reading that you uh, were raised in, in, I think, are you vendor royalty? Actually, I am, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. How far into the royal family do you go? Um, quite close. Um, so my grandfather would be Sintumore Ramabrana, yeah. who would be the son of Makado, the famous Makado Ramaburana. I don't know if okay. you know about him. He was known so you're about. not a prince? Unfortunately. Well, you know, maybe in my head I am, but uh, <laughs> yeah. not, not officially. <laughs> OK, that would have been great. <laughs> so yeah. you grew up in the Burbs, and um, mm. I read that you would only really become aware of the brutality of apartheid when you were, like, 12 years old after you'd watched Serafina. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yes. your, your upbringing. It sounded really fascinating. Um, so my parents were domestic workers, yeah. and my father worked for a, a wonderful old lady called Miss Hill, who mm -hmm. lived in Parkhurst. And when I was born, you know, she, she really loved my father so much that she decided that she would sponsor my schooling, basically. Yeah. So from basically being born, I was born in Parkhurst, um, that's the world that I knew. From three years old, yeah. I was in a multiracial nursery school, playing kissing catches with, you know, Indian, white, yeah. all kinds. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, anyway, That's three years old playing kissing catches. I, 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 I was also looking at you <laughs> thinking about kissing catches. <laughs> Maybe a bit later on. <laughs> but... <laughs> Excuse me then. Um, I was an advanced three-year-old. OK, anyway, let's stop. Um, <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> I know, I always go there. <laughs> um, but, but a but, great childhood. Yeah, great childhood. And then childhood. great education. Great education. And then what happened when you were 12? So then, then we, had, we had an uncle um, in Soweto, lived in Dobsonville, um, had a great, you know, stock of movies. And yeah. I think Sarafina had just come out and um, we were watching it and I saw the brutality. I saw these yeah. policemen, white, Afrikaans, um, really hurting these black people. and. Yeah. I was so confused. I was so confused because I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't yeah. understand the brutality. I'd never witnessed anything like sure. that or even heard of anything like that. So it was quite a shock to the system. I'm sure. Yeah. And how did that impact you? And was that also the form that I suppose maybe b b found your love of acting? Did it happen around the same time? <sighs> um, sure. The acting's always been there. Yeah. You know, my mom comments, she says, like, you know, when I was three years old, like, in old plays in nursery school, I used to stand out quite a bit. Um, but I was a very shy kid. I was, I was very shy, very withdrawn, very much introverted. And so I, I used to sort of, you know, watch your, your TVs and stuff and wish I could be one of the presenters, but never really, you know, did anything about it. And then in high school, um, I was in grade 11 and an English teacher of mine in Greenside High. Yeah. Um, I performed a poem and she was like, wow, you're quite a talented actor. And for the first time, 
from being this sheltered, introverted kid who was acne prone and yeah. all of that stuff. I was I, I was finally good at something. Yeah. And that, that, that made an impact on me. So I researched, I auditioned for the high school play later that year, got a nice role. Yeah. And, and just everything about being on stage, the lights, learning lines was, because I was comfortable. I was exactly. like, I was at home. And um, now just sort of another connection between you and Bunny and Bully. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, Greenside is one of them. And the other one is um, you now in Norton Cross the international yes. series. Bunny's also there. That's yes. why Bunny's not sitting alongside me every day on the show, by the way. She's yes. busy filming this massive international <laughs> series. Right and on. so have you had any roles with her yet? Yes, yes. We 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 um we acted on the same soap a while back. Yeah. And uh, so this will be the second time. This will be the Amazing. second time that we're She's together. She is awesome. <laughs> she was so cool, man, in high school. Yeah, anyway, she is so cool. She's still so cool. <laughs> so that's one of your, for my, you know, one of my favorite co-stars that you've had. The mm. other one is Leo DiCaprio. I, and I put, Apparently, you had to teach him and his co-star a little bit of uh, English while right. working on their accents. Um, so, the, yes, the movie... Um, the, the, the Blood Diamond that mm. that um, that I was on, um, I got yes, I got an opportunity to help Jimun with his accent. Yeah, you and should have helped Leo because wasn't he dissed by Trevor Noah? He was completely, <laughs> completely. But I wasn't in charge of that, so yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> can't blame me. But um, yeah, um, so I, I got a week. I was with uh, with him for a week before they shot, yeah. and um, Leo, I have to share the story, man. He's such a cool Tell guy. Me. He is such a cool guy. So being with Jimun the whole day, you know, you get to go out for lunch with him, you know, yeah. and the one dinner, Leo was there, you know, with his bodyguards, and he was, he was very approachable, cool, he was like, hey, Nat, what's up, how are you? Yeah. All good. And then a couple of days later, the director had a braai at his house, and yeah. I was invited to that as well because of my, you know, association with Jimun. And meeting him again, you know, completely, like, unprovoked, he was like, Hey, Nat, what's up? And I was just yeah. like, oh, my word. Yeah. This huge, famous Hollywood star who's probably got like a million names in his brain yeah. remembered mine, yeah. you know, this little guy from South Africa. Um, that shouldn't be special. That should be an expectation. You deserve it. <laughs> because, because obviously you're respected for your acting role then as well, alongside him, as a colleague, not yeah. a fan. But no. I'm just so glad that he's cool because I plan on marrying him. <laughs> <laughs> you're a family man and yes. you've got three kids. Yes, three kids, a beautiful wife. Um, they are, oh, there they are. Oh, baby. There's, yeah, they, they, they all have my forehead, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So, so you yeah. brought, brought, should have brought them along with you because I'm ah, sure their favorite DJ is playing on our show later. Right on, right on. <laughs> they would have taken over here. Yeah, it would have been chaos. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, no, the lights of my life, really. Like um, being a dad, I, I, I have no words. It's it's really yeah. one of those magical experiences that it's, it's hard to describe. But they they mean everything to me. Yeah. Well, we love having yeah. you on the show. You are definitely not a villain in real life. Only just your brilliant <laughs> work on Movanga. Thank you so much for being here today and chatting to us. Thank you for having me.